Trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, God. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovngarde awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Thalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Stopping. Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. <clears throat> Lokir of Rorikstad. No! I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. 
Who are you?
You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and, and earth so learn our... As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning! My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. And you say the same. You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Nord and the Rags! There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? It's in the clouds! Escaping Hathar. 
You're not stopping us this time. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign Guard. Yeah. You, come on. Into the king. Come on. Again in Solid Guard, brother. <laughs> Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. You may as well take on your gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Oh. All right. Get that armor on, and give that axe a few swings. I'm... to see if I can find some way out of here. Ah, this one's locked. Let's see about that gate. to open this from our side. Come on, it's the Imperials! They cover! Get this gate open! Maybe one of these Imperials had the... See if you can unlock that door. That's it. Come on, let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. doesn't give up easy. Storm blows. Get them! Fire! Stop! Descend now! Done? Let's get moving. Troll's blood! Hear that? Come on! That's your best? Was Jarl Ulfric with you? No. I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Ah, that 
It's locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we get out. Grab anything useful and let's go. This way. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. Just give the general some time. Let's see where this goes. Guess we'd better try this way. Hurry up! Oh. 
Hold up! There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. And watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take her by surprise. <laughs> like the way out. I knew we'd make it. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if any made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverworth, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the Dragon means, it's Ulfric. Seriously? You don't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak himself. Right. The leader of our fight against the Empire. I forget that most people don't know what he looks like, except for those Imperial Wanted posters. I was assigned to Ulfric's guard. We were on our way to Darkwater Crossing, in the south of Eastmarch. The Imperials were waiting for us, as pretty an ambush as I ever saw. We were outnumbered five to one at least. Ulfric ordered us to stop fighting. Didn't want us all to die for nothing, I guess. I thought they were taking us south to Cyrodiil. Parade us in front of the Emperor. But then, we stopped in Helgen. And you know the rest. What? Oh, hardly. I don't think even Ulfric could pull a dragon out of his pocket. Lucky for us it attacked when it did, eh? I wasn't looking forward to getting a shave from the Imperial Headsman. Damn right. Just like all true sons of Skyrim should. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the Dragon means, it's Ulfric. Well, maybe not. Dragons haven't been seen in Skyrim for an age or more. But wherever that dragon came from, and whatever it wants, Ulfric will get to the bottom of it. You can count on that. Besides, you have your own score to settle with the Empire now. And with that dragon. Yeah, sure, I understand. No need to decide now. But I know that after you think about what you saw today, Realize that Skyrim deserves to be free. You know, 
You should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the Dragon means, it's over. Skyrim's landscape. Warrior, good. Those stars will guide you to honor and glory. Picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Open! to any Imperials. Just let me do the talk. What? Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood Trader to speak like with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Gurdon's probably working in her lumber mill. You may be right. Camilla may see Feindel as little more than a friend, but why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindel. Lucan's got a little bit of everything at the Riverwood Trader. 
If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. Mm -hmm. big as the ma no, dragons now, is it? But I tell Please, you, mother. I saw a If you keep on like this, everyone in Riverwoods agrees. There's beauty here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. What is that blowhard up to now? So, and he I thinks he can turn Camilla to against me. Two can play at this. Here, dragon. give this letter to Camilla and tell her it's from Sven. Let's see what she thinks of him after reading that. Farewell. Sven drunk on the job again? My father is Alvor, the blacksmith. I'm his assistant. I need a practice. I'll be right down. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Hi. That's a decent weapon you've made there. Whatever you need. Not bad. But it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Good day. Looking for a new blade? This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Hi. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Hide. I can forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. you need. Buy you spirit is sick. It's strong. I can forge it. You the sneaky type? Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Aye. You looking for a new blade? You have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Good day. Yes? Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. Uh, but you see The seem finest like. weapons and armor.
Mm-hmm. yelling the other day about a thief breaking into a store. It wasn't me, honest. I told you my sister would help us out. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. I'm glad to help any way I can. Jarl Balgruf? I don't mean to be disrespectful as he's ruled Whiterun hold well for years. But he seems in over his head now. He's been trying to stay out of the war, but it can't last. He's going to have to pick a side. I'm afraid he's going to make the wrong choice. I wouldn't say that. But he and Ulfric have been at odds for years, and I'm afraid Balgruf will end up siding with the Empire because of it. But it's hard to believe that even Balgruf would choose Elisif over Ulfric. I suppose she's Jarl Elisif now. She married High King Turug just before Ulfric killed him. The Empire supports her claim to be High Queen. I don't really have anything against her. Not her fault that her husband Turug was bought and paid for by the Empire. But she's nothing but a puppet for the Empire now, with her husband Turug dead. Ulfric will make sure she never takes the throne as High Queen. Some say murdered. But it was a lawful challenge in the old way. Ulfric called him out as a traitor to Skyrim and killed him in single combat. If Tori couldn't defend his throne, he had no business being High King. No, not until the Moot meets to choose another, and it won't meet until one side or the other wins the war. Don't worry, though. Ulfric is a rightful High King. He'll drive out the Empire, and Skyrim will have peace at last. The Empire may have been good for Skyrim once upon a time, but those days are long past. Banning the worship of Talos was the last straw. Thalmor everywhere, dragging people off for honoring our own gods. I'm glad Raelof is helping drive them out of here. If I was a bit younger, I might have joined the fight myself. It's my meal. Some folks think it's my town too, but it ain't. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land and the town. I just pay the taxes. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see Whiterun on its hill as you pass the falls. Aye. So you saw a dragon, did you? Tell me, what was it like? As big as a house? 
Don't even say such things. I hope that dragon stays away from Riverwood. We don't need that kind of trouble. Yes? Orgnar. Orgnar. Got any ale or mead? Yeah, yeah. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Did you hear me? Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. You're that visitor been poking around. Word is Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War is only going to get worse now. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Until next time. Yeah, well, the Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in, but we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, so northeast of town. Wagon? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... Oh, by the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. This way. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he... door. 
He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop.
think. this little game. Bad time to get lost.
Me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Why should I share the treasure with anyone?
I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Show those thieves, not... You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. them. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. It's a fine day with you around. Oh, 
I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. I'll show you what I know. Good day.